Hello, David Gordon from Theater Mania here. Uh, I'm here with one of your favorites and mine, Max von Essen. Uh, we are talking about the Irish Repertory Theater's uh, streaming production of Meet Me in St. Louis. Uh, it is a true delight. Uh, no one, none of the actors were together. They all <laughs> green screens. It is a crazy process, and I can't wait to hear all about it from that. <laughs> Tell me about. Uh, did they come to you? Did you have to audition for this? Um, this is, I will say, this was one of those nice moments where they just, Charlotte Moore, who is the artistic director of the Irish Rep, she's so awesome. And years ago, she cast me in Finian's Rainbow, which I did there with Melissa Errico and Malcolm Getz. It was so amazing. And for years, I've been doing their galas and, dip, and anything she asked me, readings. And then um, she asked me directly to do this. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, the boy next door? Do you mean like the old uncle next door? So she's like, Max, shut up. You can still play the boy next door. I said, oh, okay, I'm going to be shaving very tightly while we do this. But just the idea of working, I was like, oh, I, I, absolutely. I was like, I'm on board. And the fact that she was, she and the theater were, were wanting to do something so forward thinking and, you know, uh, its own kind of medium that I was like, yeah, let me, I just thrilled to be a part of it. They've consistently amazed me from when the pandemic started to now that they've just, they like turned on a dime and just pivoted to video and digital content. And yes. considering the size of the theater, which is very small, and the resources that they have just based on, you know, regular theater and then pandemic resources where everything is reduced just based on uh, money, what they've been able to do is just amazing to me. I'm so impressed and I'm so proud of them because, um, not to name anyone, but I, I, you know, there's not that many theaters in New York that we would say, oh, look what they're doing. Oh, look what they're doing. I mean, a lot of theaters. There aren't any. And I've been yeah. reading about this for, for months now that they're the only theater that's been doing anything. Yes. And that's very frustrating because we're, we're in the, we're in the theater, we're creative, we're innovative. And there's so many wonderful things that could have been done, could have been done during this tough time that could have kept people working. And I know it's not in the same way. I know it's not going to bring in the same amount of money in any way, but it just would have been great to have more opportunities for people. Now, a lot of theaters have, uh, put a lot of um, online content and I'm really proud and done state and readings and Zoom things. There have been a, a lot of amazing things happening during this time, but the Irish rep for them to take on like actual productions and to film them in this new way is like, I, I, I say like, good for them, like keep it up. And they, and they, like you said, they instantly, they were like, okay, this, this is what we're doing. And, and you know, they're not, you know, fresh out of college, the Irish rep, they've been around a while. They're not yeah. you know, some young, young kids who are like trying to get all, be all creative. They were right on it and forward thinking. And I'm just so, so thrilled. And so, uh, so feel so lucky that I was able to, you know, do something with them. And I had spoken to Charlotte, the artistic director uh, earlier in the year. Uh, uh, and then she was saying that they were going to do a Christmas show. She was like going to figure out how to do a Christmas musical. Uh -huh. The idea of doing Meet Me in St. Louis, which is not a small show by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, you know, the Act One finale takes place on a trolley, of course. <laughs> but figuring out, I like, I just when they announced it, I was like, I can't wait to see how that's done. And like the rest of their stuff, they like sent you guys green screens. They sent you guys props. Yeah. Uh, you had to figure out how to like zoom kiss and stuff. <laughs> I just, I'd have to figure it out. I just kissed air, you know, and, and, and they, I just went like this, you know, and then they edited it with, uh, with Shireen and made it look like, sorry, I know there's some crazy lighting. I'm at a no, hotel. Fine, that, I, I, I could, I could only find, I'm at a hotel and I could only find, I'm sitting in front of the window. I get like, so, I was like, I'm like an angel. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I just, you know, they, they were so great. They sent everything and we all actually filmed it on our own iPhones that, so that get, 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 gave it a continuity of the quality and the iPhones are incredible, but they sent, you know, green screens and, and lights and, 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 you know, outlets and all kinds of things for us. And we also costumed it ourselves from our closets. And then they sent things that were, that kind of elevated it. You know, they sent me a, t a bunch of bow ties and a couple of caps and a baseball mitt and um, just things that would elevate it a little bit more. So, cause the things pulled from our closets gave a feel, but they certainly didn't feel like costumes. So they just, right. you know, sent us, sent us a few extra pieces to kind of kick it up to another level. So it wasn't like fully costumed like you'd see in the musical, but it certainly gave, gave a real feeling for Meet Me in St. Louis in that period. So how did you film this? Were you like alone just doing your lines to nothing or did you like do the full show? 
Uh, well, well, physically completely alone. It's like yeah. me, me and my cat just staring at me like, shut up. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but when we were singing, we would have. Um, they sent us little ear pods, which were which were smaller than you know the like these like air pods. So hopefully yeah. you wouldn't see them. I'm sure, although you can see them at some sometimes. It was impossible, sort of to completely hide them. And we would hear the tracks and we would sing our songs. Um, but we were doing it while we were filming. We were also on a Zoom call essentially with our laptops, <clears throat> and we would have we would prop up our laptops behind our iPhone so that they could watch. Um, what we were filming and look at our framing and look at our lighting at, while we were doing it. And we could also then, while we were doing that, obviously hear the voices of everyone else. So we we could we could at least get the feeling of a scene and I couldn't see any of my scene partners, but I could hear them and hear their inflection and at least know what was what was happening in the scene. And like, you know, a lot of TV shows and movies where, you know, if you're getting one person's um, angle, we couldn't overlap in a lot of our in a lot of our scene work. We had to like let the line finish. So it, it was it's an awkward. It was really like this this like sort of you know hybrid of doing a TV show and doing theater. Very much felt like theater, but technically it was starting to feel like a movie and a um, or TV. And yet we were definitely still performing theater, right. and doing theater. It was inter it was interesting. It was kind of cool. You know, we just had, it's kind of fun to do something that people aren't really doing yet and be the first because like you, you sort of can't screw up. I mean, you can screw up, right. but in a way people are going to be more friendly and loving while they watch it because I think they're just going to be like, oh, wow, look, look at this accomplishment. I, I, will say, I was just so happy. You know, I love musicals uh, and as Me too. Right. And like I hadn't seen a musical in so long, and I can't really watch stream. Like I don't, I can't watch stream theater. It's just I, I get bored. I walk out of the room. I look at my phone. Like when I'm in the building, yeah. I'm there. I have to pay attention. Yes. I can watch it on my couch because like there's our cats like playing with us or whatever. <laughs> and this one, I put it on last Friday afternoon, and I was just sitting there, and I didn't realize how much I needed it until I watched it. Oh, I and, love that. Yeah. I love that. And just seeing like the masked orchestra at the beginning and hearing, uh, you know, I didn't, I never realized how much I needed to hear the trolley song until, uh, I, heard, I mean, you know, it's huh. just, we, we really, we really do need this. And what was, what was interesting too, you know, when we did it, we just had, um, John Bell, oh my gosh, this incredible music director with the Irish rep. He did such a great job, but he was making piano tracks for us and we, and we'd listen and we work on the scene and then, then we'd have a rehearsal and then we'd determine how long we're going to hold things out or what the feel of the song was going to be. So then he'd go back and he'd adjust the piano track. But while we were doing it, all we had was a piano track. And it was hard to imagine what that's the small, yes, right. a small, a small orchestra, but a beautiful orchestra, how that was going to feel. And so to go back and watch it and to hear that orchestra, hear it elevate the piece. And it just, it, uh, it was amazing. I mean, I, I miss this uh, audience. One of the biggest things I think about when we get through this tough time is not even performing, but going to the theater. The connection. The experience of, of witnessing theater. Um, it's just a human need. I don't know why, but we've been, you know, <laughs> doing it for thousands of years yeah. in some form. And, you know, like you said, seeing th things streamed is not quite the same thing, but this was a, a step, to another step towards live theater. And it, it, it just is, it was refreshing to, to do and, and I think for people to watch. What was it like for you to watch, <laughs> knowing what you had done? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I watched it, the, I wa I've watched it almost twice now, like half of the other night and the full thing a few nights ago. I drank a lot of wine because I, so, I was so nervous. So about halfway through, I don't even remember what was happening, but I thought it was really cute. I, I mean, I was actually really, certain things I was like, oh gosh, I didn't know that's quite how it was going to look. And then, but then most of the time, I was just kind of transported and thought it was this such a sweet, um, um, wonderful, innocent um, escape. And to hear, like I said, to hear the orchestra for the first time was just like, I mean, I was, I was crying. And then yeah. to see some of the things, the way they accomplished it, like the kiss, or I don't know if you remember, but there's a little fight between me and Esther yeah. where um, she thinks I, you know, beat up her little, little sister and she hits me and she's like, you know, sw you know, just smacking me. And I go down to the ground and like, it looked like we were really fighting. I was like, this is thing, incredible. The whole thing looked like you were really there. And it just, by, I mean, I don't have any concept of video <laughs> or whatever, but just the fact that they were able to accomplish this is just so insane to me. Totally, totally. And, um, 
it, it also lends itself to, because I mean, there's something about the digital imagery and the fact that we're, you know, it's a little heightened and we were not together, but that's kind of the feel of these old MGM musicals yeah. anyway. So I thought if anything was going to lend itself, when Charlotte said it was going to be Meet Me in St. Louis, I thought, oh, this actually might be really sweet in this form. So it's I'm glad. Different. Because all of those old movies look like they were shot with like gauze covering the lens. <laughs> yes, right? totally. They're not. They're not real. We know they're not real. You know, nowadays movies are the, 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 their capabilities technically are just so incredible that you really do kind of lose yourself in that this looks so real. Whereas MGM musicals, you know, it doesn't look real, but you love it because it's it's a really it's really a true like escape and yeah. and just this sort of you know just suspension of your disbelief and and so it's 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 nice to kind of like do something that feels like the movies that I fell in love with as a kid because obviously if I did a movie now you know we're so out of that time period right. and, and our capabilities that we would, we would never do that but in a way I got to kind of experience that heightened form which was really fun. And to just hear you and Melissa and Shireen and Allie. Shireen, I don't know. I, I've never seen her in anything, and she's amazing. I mean, I, I'm dying to see her in things now. And I have some friends who were in the who did My Fair Lady with her. Right, and they're right, like, right. oh, you're working with my friend Shireen. She's at the, like, not only is she such a phenomenal talent, they're like, she is just one of the most, most wonderful women. And I, I'm, I, I have a text thread with her and Allie, and we're like, <laughs> We we just want to meet, you know, Ali. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've known I've known for years, Ali. I love her, and we've worked together a couple of times. But now, Shireen, we're just like dying to see each other, see each other in person, or like get to know each other and do a production. But yeah, you could. I mean, and Melissa too. I've known for years, so I, I could rave about her. And it was one of the most perfect voices that exists in musical theater. Yeah. Um, but but Shireen was new to me, and she's just, oh my gosh, she's heaven. She's incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> Max, thank you for your time. I really appreciate oh. it. Yeah, easy of peasy. Course. Easy oh, peasy. Yeah, so easy. Yeah. Yes. Check us out. Yeah. You'll yeah. tell everyone the show times because you, you see how like it's actual show time. So I know. Have, like, that's, that's the go cool. to the theater. If free donations are accepted. You have to go on the Irish web, uh, website uh, and sign yeah. up for a, a performance time and they will send you the link in advance. Yeah. Uh, it's available through the beginning of January. Uh, it's the perfect thing to watch when you're socially distant gathering mm -hmm. on Christmas and Christmas uh, Eve. Uh, or New Year's, whatever. It's a, uh, I really, oh, I see your kitty. Oh, really? Oh, she's down there? Yeah. Yeah, I dragged her to North Carolina. Oh. <laughs> ours, usually, hey. ours usually run in and out, but they're not here. <laughs> Come here. Say hello to the world. Oh, oh she's, she's like an angel, too. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, she's cute. What's her name? Her name is Pocket. Hi, Pocket. Oh, the sun is crazy. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in a hotel. We're actually, because I know you know you have to go, but I'm doing this holiday concert down here, which is will also be virtual, but I had to come here to perform with them at in an empty theater with a few orchestra pieces, like all spread out on the stage. Oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah, it's if a first time. That, is that, that's viewable online, I'm sure. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's the Carolina Philharmonic. If you go right to their website, which I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, and it's free. It's this Friday night at 7.30. It's carolinaphil.org. And um, anyone can watch it. I thought, and and it, they don't have to donate or, I mean, a donation would be great because yeah. all these art, arts groups could really use it, but it's free. So check it out this Friday night at 7.30. Oh, I'm totally going to do that. Yeah. Awesome. It's, it's like I miss the New York Pops this year. <laughs> I know. God, I miss everything. I know. But, we, but can't you feel the, like, uh, I, this is going to be a tough winter. I know it is, but. We, I can I, feel it. Can I can feel, feel it in the air. <clears throat> yes. You can feel it. This there is spring, a lot of that's happening. And yes. Yes. It's dark, but have yourself a merry little Christmas. Yes. Be Happy hard. holidays. Yeah. Be well, Max. It's nice you to see too. you. Thanks for having me. Day in person. <laughs> Definitely. See Bye. you soon.